All right, welcome to the Football Cave. This is our third and final video in our sales series of videos. Okay, and again, we're out of three by one. And we are early 60 sale special. So if you haven't seen the uh, snag videos, we go over special and swap and what those mean. All right, remember, we're running this um, kind of mixture of air raid and run and shoot offense. We're taking the best elements of both, simplifying it for the kids and making it uh, easy to build in tags and everything like that, okay? So again, early now tells our why that he is on the line, but he's in the middle. Our why is always on the line of scrimmage. And again, we don't have to call a direction with trips because the trips is always to the wide side of the field unless we tell them to go to the boundary. So early, again, 60 series tells our back, he's check releasing away from the call. The zero, right, tells us which side the concept is to. So in this case, it would be to the right. And then obviously sale, and then special, right? So again, in special, our second and our third receiver and trips are flipping responsibilities, right? So in sale, we would never really use swap because we don't want our number one to run the corner, right? So generally, we're just going to do special as our tag with sale. So on special, again, the number three and the number two switch responsibilities. And in sale, what that tells us now is that the Y, again, has the arrow from the number two position as opposed to number three. And now the F has the corner from number three. But the responsibilities don't change. So the Y is going to take one hard step inside. He's going to run his arrow, okay, to five and a half yards, all right, on the sidelines. That's his rule. The F is going to push, take best possible release. So in this case, the Sam is outside of him right, his nearest defender. So he's just going to release right inside of him. And again, his rule for the sail route, right, is he wants to take an angle that is between the two deep defenders. So the corner and the strong safety. If he's just totally bailing with the corner, then he's going to run it in between the flat defender and the corner. All right, that's the angle. He's got to use his eyes and it's two steps past the under coverage is when he breaks. Right, so one thing I didn't go over was alignment in the trips to the field. The Z is always going to be on the numbers or just inside, depending on the route he's running. Okay. Generally, we want the Y, all right, almost always right on the hash or one yard outside the hash. And then the F is going to split the difference. Okay. Um, no matter where that is. On the back side, the X, again, we want him to be about four yards from the tackle. And again, we want to do that to pull this corner and see how he aligns. If he aligns head up to inside, then we want to run outside all day and trap that corner inside. But generally, he's going to line up um, outside of him. And that's good because what we want to do on the backside of sale, which is always some sort of levels concept, okay, we want to attack this safety and occupy the backside safety. Or if it's single high, we want to occupy the single safety. And the reason why we line our X in a condensed split is we want to treat him like a slot receiver in this case right? For that reason to attack the safety. So instead of him aligning in his normal alignment, he's going to be four yards from the tackle. Okay. And again, the back will check release and the slant is there. It's the replace route in case this Jack, just uh, this Jack backer blitzes and we have the Jack backer blitz. He's just going to replace him. Right? So there's your sale. It's just sale special, easy tag. Again, we don't have to change the routes. It's simple, tells everybody what to do. Early 60 sale special.